Hi, welcome back to Eagle Eye Mysteries in London Blind LP. Um, our partner today will be Jake, but since I was continuing from the last episode, it's Jennifer right now. So I'll change to Jake later on. So anyway, we'll begin on Case of the Foiled Fox Hunt. Up for an outing, Jennifer? I've got an assignment down at the London Zoo to cover their display against fox hunting. Would you and Stuck as a care to dog pop by? Sure thing, I'm an un -am. Superior, meet you at the zoo. Let's go. Let's go, Stuck as a. Okay, give me a moment, Jennifer. Let me change to Jake. Yeah. Sorry, Jennifer. Is Jake going... We've been to the zoo this time. Alright, and where are you? That's a fox display on Miranda told us about. But where's on him? Yeah, where's she? Let's talk to Mr. Potter. Hello, Jake. Hello, Sarkazi. You're on Miranda, said you might stop by. That's let. Oh, no, she's left you. These train tickets and directions. Apparently she caught wind of some big story in Dartmoor and just, well, darted off. Oh no. Thanks, Mr. Potter. We'll catch up with her. That new fox display really is cool. It's really cool. Are there a lot of foxes in England? Yes, actually. Foxes are quite plentiful in the countryside. The red fox especially. Some farmers might find them a bit of a pest, as they sometimes manage to get into chicken runs and devour some of the livestock. They have rather an undeserved reputation for being sly, wicked creatures. Like the expression, sly as a fox. Precisely. Foxes are rather clever animals, but they are not mischievous or wicked, really. Just smart enough to take advantage of their surroundings. Mm. But in turn, it's a disadvantage to humans. Hello, Sarkaze Jake. Would you like to sign a petition? Petition for what, Chelsea? I think this is the first time I've seen Chelsea, actually. My animal rights group is trying to get a bill passed in Parliament that will protect wild animals against such things as fox hunting. Today is the beginning of the official fox hunting season, Jake. All over England, riders and hounds are preparing to sound the buggle, buggle and tear off after these little fellows. We've created this display in the hopes of persuading some of those people to find a less cruel way to spend the summer, like going to the beach or to the pool or something. I'm helping out by manning our petition booth, but I heard that Mrs. Fagan's group in Torbay is planning something a bit more dramatic. Like? Vulpes, Vulpes or Vulps, Vulps? Mm hmm. Vixens, yes. Okay, so we'll go to... Oh no, I guess we'll have to take out the map. Oh, Dartmoor? Aunt, Mir Aunt Miranda's directions say that she's headed to Dartmoor National Park around Buckfast Lake. Let's check the train schedule and see which platform we need to catch up with her. Okay, so, um, got your train schedule, Sakaze? My watch says it's travel tree now. So which 
platform there's an next train to Dartmouth from I don't know what I'm supposed to do wait got your train schedule sarcasm my watch says it's 1203 which platform does the next train to Dartmoor leave from? Oh no. Platform. Give me a moment. Let me see whether I can actually search this up. Because a uh, train platform. Can I even search that up? Let's try. I'm back, but I can't seem to find much information about uh, train platforms. But if you, I guess if you think about Harry Potter, the platform goes by numbers. So I'm just going to attempt typing numbers until I get it right. So let's start with one. Right, yikes. Okay, wrong. A nice attempt. How about two? Two, no, okay. How about three? Three? Jake, no? Come on, Jake, why can't you tell me? Four? Great. How about five? Nope. Oh, goodness, oh, goodness. It is by numbers, isn't it? Great. Well, it would help if you could actually tell me which station we are on at the moment? Oh, huh. Uh, I think there's only eight platforms. Mm, one to eight, right? Yeah. How about A, B, C? A? No. B? Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh. Pity I don't live in London. Okay, let me let me just get back to you again. Okay, I searched online. I saw someone answering the number ten. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I was one number short. But I thought there's no such thing as platform. Anything after eight? That's so weird. Okay, that took a long time. Platform 10. Oh, this place. Looks familiar. Looks like the fox hunt is over. All the riders and hounds are back already. They look pretty bummed out. Something must have gone wrong. Okay. It was strange. Usually foxes will run hither and titter, chasing around trees, through bushes, across streams or whatnot, but the hounds always manage to stay on the trail. This time around they hit a certain spot, the very near to Hound Tower. And suddenly all the dogs went ramp mad, rolling around in the grass and rubbing their muzzles on the ground. Very odd, I must say. Can you tell us where that spot was exactly? Absolutely. See that path there? Follow it and you'll come to an outcropping of rocks up that way. That's how tall. It was just in front of that and some bushes that the dogs lost the trail and started clamoring. Quite a sight really. I'd been riding with Sir Toby throughout the hunt and we came up right behind the dogs just in time to see it. Now will you excuse me? I've got to find a groom to take these burrs off Flecker's coat. Those bushes at Hound Tower must have been filled with burrs. They're not common out here at all. So I'm sure that Flecker picked up, picked them up when I rode her through the bushes to investigate the uproar putting. Blasted hounds had Athena spinning around in circles. Look at her, covered in mud. mud. That Hans man of Toby's must be completely round the bend. 
Which one is the huntsman, Lieutenant Haversham? That fellow there with the buggle. He's in charge of the hounds, and a rotten job he did to the LC. The huntsman and his staff are responsible for flushing out all horrible, that's the fox, and keeping the hounds on the trail. The master, that's Sir Toby today, is in charge of the field. He makes sure that everyone riding with the hounds behaves in a safe and civilized manner. The feel is how you refer to all the people riding on the hunt. Dreadful show. It'll take Sir Toby a while to leave this one down, I'm afraid. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take Athena down to Zax the Smeavy in Torbay. She's thrown a shoe. Really? How about that far one over there? It's sorry showing today, boys. Very, very sorry. It's back to the canals for you now and no trees this evening. Are you talking to those dogs? Hounds, my boys, not just dogs, hounds, and some of the finest in all England to do too. These hounds are specially bred for the hunt. They use the terrific sense of smell to find that old villain, the fox, and they've got the stamina to chase him down. There sure are a lot of them. Forty, my boy, and they do make a record when they get to baying, but I've my buckle to be sure I'm hurt over them. What's a buckle? Sir Toby, can you tell us what happened? What exactly went wrong here today at your annual opening hunt? I'll tell you what happened. Sabotage. Foul play. Havoc. I have no doubt. I've had these hounds out on dozens of hounds and I've never, not once, seen them rolling about in the grass choking and sneezing. They can't trick a, foc like, a fox like that. We had to call off the hunt. This is all some trick of that feckin' woman and her crowd. They fought the hunt. What exactly make it, is it that makes you suspect Mrs. Feckham of interfering with your fox hunt, Sir Toby? Well, why else would they have come here this morning with the signs and the little pantomime, if not to spook us all into giving up the chase? Now that's enough, Miranda. I've got to get great shot here to the grounds. Wow. wow, he's really ticked off. Do you think someone really did mess up the fox hunt on purpose? Possible. I wish I knew. This annual opening hunt of Sir Toby's is quite a society event. But some people feel very strongly that fox hunting is wrong and should be stopped altogether. If someone managed to sabotage this hunt, an interview with that person would be front page news. I bet Stark is and I can figure out who fought Sir F Toby's fox hunt on Miranda. They go I detect his own the case. Oh, that's an interesting way to start off a case. This path leads down to Huntor. Let's have a look at that part of the hunting range. Okay. Looks like one of the riders on the hunt is just now getting back. Good today. Not at all what I expected for my first hunt. I'm afraid I spent most of my time lost in the woods on the other side of the tower. Chula, my horse, isn't very sure of his footing on these moors. The peach here is so soft that a horse can turn his ankle very easily if he's not very careful. Whatever happened to the folks? I'm sure I couldn't keep up with the thing. The hounds seemed to be baying all over the moor. I didn't hear the buggles sound. Did someone catch it? It looks like the fox got away, Lady Cheswick. Didn't you know? Did it really? Well, however, that must have happened. Well, however, could that have happened? The old Sir Toby must be terribly embarrassed. I'll drop by with my sympathies once I've got these birds of Tulum. He does so hate being covered in them. And there's a lot of things that I don't understand. This must be the clump of bushes that Lord Pomeroy was talking about. Hey, watch out, Stucker, these bushes are filled with birds. They stick to your clothes like crazy. Look, Stucker, they those are fox footprints. The fox came to all here all right. And here are a bunch of bigger paw prints, the hounds. The hounds follow the fox trail to... Hey, look at that. Piles of red powder cover parts of that trail inside the bushes. Hmm. Hmm. 
bb without shoes We can take the bus to Chor Bay from the bus stop, which is a little ways down this path. Let's go. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. That's Zack from this movie. I bet he knows a lot about horses and hunting. Alright, Zack. Hey, I have shoot moves of the horses on the tent. Fleck out a tuna and grey shot. You can see my mark on all the Shoes. Zack for Zack. Lovely bees, all of them. Horses have to be very sweet tempered to be to ride the hounds. Err. Flaca, Athena, and Grey Shot. Okay. Humans don't have a horse that kicks or bucks or more, or one that's temperamental. And won't jump when it's us. The horses have to be calm too. Those hounds make a rotten record when they are chasing down the fox. Helps if they are calm when I shoot them as well. I mean, of mine in its mouth, Brian Bear was kicked something fierce when he was shooting a black stallion called Tulum last week. Sometimes the prettiest beasts are the fiercest. Does Brian Bear muck his horses with Zack too? Of course not. We all have our own marks, so we know whose shoe we're seeing. Brian marks his baby. Okay. Hello, Jake. Stuck, eh? Have you heard about Sir Toby's fox hunt? It was a disaster. Huzzah! Score one for the foxes. This is my pony, Raja. Isn't she lovely? We're just coming, we're just back from our jumping lesson. She's getting very good. I can't wait to tell Lord Cheswick and Mrs. Feckham about the fox's escape. But I've got to get Roger cleaned up. They're over at the smuggler's inn, and I think. If you get a moment, would you pump in and let them know? Hmm. Interesting. Roger Ray's pony. She has horseshoes, so maybe not. Cool. Oh, oh, I totally skipped that. Oh my goodness. Cool ponies just wander around loose on the moors. How can you tell if you're there well or if someone owes them? The well ponies on shoot, meaning their hooves unprotected by horseshoes. Riding ponies like Raja have to have shoes to protect their hooves. Okay. Hmm. The rest of the fox hunt prote protesters are having a bite at the e at the smugglers inn. Let's go and have a chat with them. This is the most interesting way to start this case. I mean to work around this case. This is leading me one location after another. There are the rest of the protesters, Mrs. Feckham and Lord Cheswick. They'll be psyched when we tell them that Sir Toby's hand failed. Okay. Hmm, this lot have been in here all my morning yammering on about the precious foxes. You can tell none of them have ever tried to, to raise chickens in these spots. My mate Harry's had a devil of a time with the blasted vermin. They've built under every fence he's ever built and made of with some of his prized hands. Egg laying hands, mind you. Not cheap. He's laid traps and stayed up nights with his shotgun, but he's never caught the blighters. Some of us don't feel a bit sorry when the hunting season comes around. The fox escaped. Well done. Foxes are fascinating wild creatures. I'm not in f. Oh, wait, it's locked, Cheswick. 
I'm not in favor of hunting them myself. I think it's cruel to pit one animal against a pack of larger beasts. But I didn't, I didn't interfere with that fox hunt. Dear Mrs. Fackham and I made our quiet protest at Sir Toby's estate, then retired to the smugglers' inn to wait out the hunt. Ray Marine protested with us this morning. Charming girl, I believe she had a writing lesson afterwards. She dashed, she dashed off right away. A disaster, was it? How marvellous. Oh, I bet Sir Toby is livid. So soon right, I say. Imagine grown men and women running a great big pack of hounds against a poor little fox. Despicable. I dare say Mr. Toby was a bit put off by our dramatics this morning. Perhaps our little play worked on his nerves a bit and so threw off his hunt. Lord Cheswick Raymarine and I met him in his writer's order late this morning. As the hunt began dressed as foxes ourselves. Oh my goodness. That's really diligent of them. And pleaded for his mercy. You should have seen the look on his stuffy old face. Horribly embarrassing for his stuffy nosed friends as well. Okay, is that all? Is that all? I actually have no idea. I have no idea. Hmm. I have no idea. All right. Well, look true. I don't know what the answers are. Foxes are mammals. Foxes will eat almost whatever food is available where they live. Okay. What am I supposed to solve exactly? That's tough. Mrs. Feckham and her group were in the field in the morning. The hunt was ruined to when the hounds began to choke and sneeze near the bushes. Lord Pomeroy was riding. His horse covered in burrs, okay? Lord, no, Lieutenant Havisham rides a brown mare. The huntsman is the man in charge of hounds. The people riding of the... Okay. Lady Cheswick rides a black stallion called Tulum. Tulum is covered in burrs. The only horse prints nearby were made by horseshoes marked BB, horseshoes marked Z, and little hoof prints with no horseshoes at all. What are their horses' names? Lord Pomeroy was riding near so to be all through the hunt. Athena is by Lieutenant Havisham. Tulum was covered in burrs. Athena was Z. Has shoes. On her hooves, like either other riding ponies. She is a little muddy, but she doesn't seem to have any burrs stuck to her. Because she was not hunting, right? Oh my god. You know, if you eliminate. If it's not Lord Cheswick, it's not Mrs. Feckham, it's not Ray Marine then most likely it'll be the last person Lady Cheswick I have no idea why but Lord Pomeroy said that he was the only rider in sight when the hounds lost their scent at the bushes by Hound Tor but we saw hoof prints with shoes marked BB2 
BBA? Most likely. Alright, so if you do this, maybe. Alright, choose Tulum. Then the only hoof prints nearby were made by horseshoes marked BB. Okay. Okay, Lady Cheswick. That maybe and probably the Kians. I I don't know how you pronounce them. The peppers. The peppers. Oh no no! I already have it. I don't know. All right. So it is Lady Cheswick, isn't it? I got it by, you know, eliminating the rest, though. I'm not sure what the logic is. You're right, it was Lady Cheswick who filed Sir Toby's fox hunt. Lord Pomeroy told us that he and the hounds followed the fox's trail to the patch of bushes by hound of bushes by hound tor, where all the dogs suddenly started sneezing and lost the trail. Flecker, Lord Pomeroy's horse was covered in birds from those bushes. We found what put the dogs off right in the middle of the patch of burr-filled bushes. Pounds and pounds of however you pronounce that cane pepper spilled right over the fox's tail trail. The ho hoof prints around the bushes showed that a horse with a shoe marked Zack Zack A horse with a shoe marked Bibi and a pony without shoes had been in the bushes after the fox. Ray Marin protested the fox hunt and she was riding her pony that day, but her pony rather has shoes. Ray told us about the wild ponies that roam the moors. A wild pony would have shoes on its hooves. That would account for those small, unshoot hoof prints. Zack Smith told us that he had shoot Flecka. Lord Primary's horse with a shoe marked Z. That accounts for the Z hoof prints. He also told us that a Smith named Brian Bear had shoot a horse named Chulum. Lady Cheswick's horse is a black stealer named Chulum. He is covered with birds just like those on Lord Primary's horse. Exactly. So that's why I don't understand. It was his hoof prints marked Bibi for Brian Bear that we saw in the bushes around the dumped bag of cayenne pepper. Chulum was there because Lady Cheswick had chased the fox there to dump the pepper on its trail. Okay. What makes her the suspect? Because the other guy too had his horse prints there. That's weird. Kind of. I don't understand it unless I'm just sleepy. Yes. Hmm. Well, okay, so that's the end of this case, and uh, in the next case, we'll see. Wow, what is that? Case of the Fabulous Thebes. That sounds interesting. So, we will continue the next case in the next episode. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.